I was getting richer as a daughter, a son, so where I'm bent knee, clothes clapping their palms, praying to the same God from the scriptures of Psalms, the way that I did, I rate, I live my faith, won't be determined by the things that I hate, but overcoming obstacles, learning from mistakes, now I... What it do, family? It's your girl, Toot, and I am back with another video. Shout out to the squad. I love y'all. I appreciate you guys for coming back and tuning in. Do me a favor and like, comment, share, and subscribe. That's all you got to do to support the channel, and it is free. It is absolutely free. Now, look, we about to hop right into this video. Now, as of late, there's been a lot of speculation, a lot of allegations, a lot of rumors going on about Corey's girlfriend, Danny, uh, being a scammer. Let's just put it out there. You know what I'm saying? There were some people where one person that have come forward so far, you know what I'm saying saying like look this girl ain't right yada 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 now there's also been a lot of rumors and allegations that she burned down her tra her tax practice and some more shit i guess danny got a little tired of everybody so she took to her facebook and she said i got 50k for anyone who can drop proof under this post of me scamming y'all i'm not talking about being charged a prep fee i'm talking about me stealing your tax refund as y'all say we're not talking about y'all not reading the policy we're not talking about when a client disrespect me and i respect spine we're talking about really scamming drop up drop it up under this post because i got time this is your chance to get 50k bank wire i stamped that let's go and get this settled right now we're about to see who's just lying jealous and hating association of rich tax professionals will forever be the biggest tax industry now i went on this post because <laughs> i was i just knew for a fact that it was gonna be people coming out of woodwork you know what i'm saying like people coming down from the heavens you know what I'm saying? Because I just wanted to see. Even if it wasn't about the money, I was like, this is going to be the chance where somebody's going to really speak their piece. Now, I went on that post. No lie. Nobody has said nothing as of yet. You know what I mean? And I've been looking at a lot of stuff. I'm not going to lie to you. I've been researching a lot of stuff just because I be wanting to know all sides of the story. You know what I'm saying? Their side, her side, the truth side, all of that. You feel what I'm saying? Now, she also had an interview where she talked about it. Let's look. You know, with every business, there's always some good times, but there's always some struggles. I just remember getting a call for, call from my mom like late that night. It was like three in the morning, and she was like, "You know, someone burned down your your Mount Mariah location in Memphis." So to me, honestly, it was expected because I get so much hate and jealousy out of Memphis because in the city of Memphis, they just really feel like if you're not from the city, do not support the person is not from the city. Oh. So I'm from Mississippi. I'm not from Memphis. Oh. So and by me putting like five offices down there, they was looking at it like she's trying to take over our territory. Wow. So when it happened, because I'm I'm the type of person, like I always live up to I may bend but I won't fold. Hello. So you really is not gonna ever like really see me cry. Exactly. So it was it was more like, okay, I got my shit together. Mm -hmm. So I got insurance. It is what right. it is. Now, what kind of... And what do you have like, to say to the people who were saying that it was insurance fraud and things of that nature? Oh, I just kept popping it. Like, it didn't even matter because I knew that I had my shit together. So, basically... Um, you know, I've seen all the blogs, like all the posts and stuff. They was like, it's insurance fraud and this and that. And I'm the type of person like, you know what? I'm going to respond when I respond. So once everything came out, and it came out like the next two days. Are you serious? <laughs> wow. Yes. So, so like, what them, came out? Like videos, like when they leaked the videos in my um, office of the two guys, it was the same two guys that everybody knew in Memphis. And they was like, what? yeah. That's how they found out another tax company paid someone to burn my offices down. What? Because the guys was linked with her boyfriend. Wow. So, yeah. Are you serious? Yeah. So, yeah, they just um, got found guilty on May the 20th. What? Yes. So, see, God, God has his way of doing things. So, I was perusing my comment section, and there was a lot of people from Memphis that was in there who was like, I never heard of none of this happening. You feel what I'm saying? They never remember any kind of tax places being burnt down whatsoever. So, it made me kind of like, I had to go do some research, you know what I'm saying? And there was an article that was located, and it says Memphis men pled guilty to string of arsons at tax service businesses. Now, the thing that was so trippy about this, two of the men that were locked up for this crime, you feel what I'm saying? Um, one of them 
had a girlfriend who also had a tax uh, preparation service who was at odds with Danny. Could it be some hate and shit? Who knows? But what I do know is that these dudes is locked up. So I guess we can say that her place was in fact burnt the fuck down. Now I said on February 8th, 2024, Matthews pled guilty to all four counts of the indictment before United States District Judge uh, Thomas L. Parker. On May 15, 2024, Colbert also pled guilty as charged to all four counts before Judge Parker. Both defendants face a mandatory minimum sentence of five years in prison, a maximum of up to 20 years in federal prison, plus up to $250,000 fine and up to a three years of supervised release. There is no parole in the federal system. Now listen, the only thing that I can say about this is that she ain't lie about this because it's in black and white. You feel what I mean? Now I'm waiting for people to come on that post because i really do want to see some um some real good receipts of her scamming as of right now there is a lot of speculation but i haven't seen any concrete proof right now you feel what i'm saying it said the criminal act of arson poses an unnecessary risk to the citizens and the first responders of the city of memphis as well as having a negative impact on the financial systems of the community you feel what i mean united states attorney kevin rich thank the assistant united states attorney greg wagner and stephen hall who are prosecuting this case as well as law enforcement and law enforcement partners investigating this case so i don't know y'all y'all let me know how do y'all feel about this whole situation i mean like we do live in a world where codes and ethics and things like this are completely different you feel me snitches get rewarded now you know what i'm saying morals go out the window i want to know how y'all really really feel now i know a lot of people don't like Corey, and because of Corey, or not liking Corey, a lot of people just naturally not gonna like danny let's be real that's just the way that the world works but i want to know there is there a chance that you know what i'm saying this could be some hating type of situation you know what i mean because it does in fact happen drop it down in the comment section meet me in the comment section a lot of people are thinking that Corey and Danny's relationship is just another example of two old-fashioned people getting together because they're hurt over other people to make other people mad do y'all think this is a possibility you feel what I'm saying at first I'm not gonna lie when Corey first got with Danny I was like oh he's trying to make Maddie mad or some shit but now as the days progress it seemed like they really do like each other do you think that this could be organic between them you feel what I mean and it just came at the worst timing I want to know drop it down in the comments now Let's go to another one of Corey's exes. <laughs> we going over here to Madeline. You feel me? I think we all remember when Maddie got the tattoo of Corey's name behind her ear. And we was all like, Maddie, no, please don't do it. Like this nigga, but don't get no tattoos. But she got it anyway. You feel me? And since the breakup, a lot of people was asking her, like, are you going to keep the tattoo? What are you going to do with the tattoo? Now, at first, she said she was not in a big hurry to get it covered up. I guess some things change over the course of a couple of days because she did. Let's take a look. Thursday. Thursday, Thursday, Thursday. I'm actually not that excited because I just feel like it's about to hurt. I'm thinking about either doing, I'm going to do butterfly, like a butterfly, and then a butterfly, and then a butterfly, or I'm going to do a feather. I'm leaning more towards a feather because I feel like that's a one-two fix. Do you feel embarrassed? Very. Does that have fire? Oh my God, I got like butterflies on my neck. I feel so like, like tattoos, like what? This feels like a real tattoo or something. I'm about to get tattoos on this side at this point too. Fuck it. Just kidding. I'm single, y'all. Oh, y'all want to see my tattoo? Y'all ain't get to see it. Can y'all see it? Because I can't see if y'all can see. Now you hurt, but this just your karma, boo. I'm not hurt. I'm happy. Well, I'm so freaking happy. Yeah, yeah. Like, everybody moved on. Like, why are y'all still talking about that shit? Everybody's moved on and happy. Everybody, every, every party involved is happy, living their lives. You get what I'm saying? Like, like let them folks live their life. God damn. It 
don't matter. Ain't nobody no upgrade. Ain't nobody no downgrade. Ain't nobody none of that, bro. As long as motherfuckers is all happy. That's all that matters. I'm not gonna lie. There was times on that particular live that I could see the hurt um, really on Maddie. You feel what I'm saying? At the end of the day, she's still a woman. And I know it cannot be easy to see somebody who you thought you loved with somebody else this quickly. I know it can't be easy. But, you know what I mean? You know how that shit go. Life be life. And drop it down in the comments, man. Do you think that was a great decision that she made? I want to know. Until next video, I'm going to catch y'all, dog. Peace.